What's up, everybody? So I don't know what happened when I was recording. The phone just shut off, but it's not out of power. So I'm going to update you on the Tone Master, and it's probably like my last one on this because you can only do so many videos. You can do like an unboxing and then your initial impressions, and then you could do one on the problems and then one on creating tones. That's about it. So what I did... So on the user presets, the factory presets, there is no popping in between the patches. The popping is only when you create a patch like I showed before. Is it a game changer where it's that noticeable? No, it, but it just makes it not seamless and you, you know, you're paying a lot of money. I really think Fender will fix that because however they created the factory settings, they forgot to put something in the, the user preset so that where you're creating the patch. Now, I did find some cool stuff that you can do, like I was talking about the Fender F. And let me say, this thing sounds better than any pedal board that you can buy, flat out. I've owned Kemper Quad Cortex, which I had sold a while ago. Um, I've owned Helix, I've owned, I still own Fractical, Trident, New X, the GP. This thing is very, very dynamic, and the amp sounds when you're using the heads into your ca your cabin head are unbelievable. Again, EVH is owned by Fender and the Fender. So what I did, I, I used a Fender Reverb Deluxe for my cleans, and I'll explain what I did to it to get that sound, because I, I did a, a little thing on there. Now I did a Freeman Rhythm and Lead with the Deluxe Clean. Then I did a EVH, Rhythm, Lead, and the Deluxe Clean. So on the six patches, I got two Rhythms, two Leads, and two Cleans, and one of them's duplicated. So this is the EVH head. And this is a little loud, let me turn it down, because that's a, that's like band. <laughs> Check this out. Pulling off the violin. Very dynamic. I love that amp. So now here's the Friedman rhythm. said this thing right out of the box fender has almost nailed the live sound through an amp with their amp heads it's unbelievable and the reason why like this sounds a little muffled a little bit when i turn it up the band volume So it's dynamic just like an ant. The louder you turn it, the less bass and the more trouble. <laughs> and I got the gate just enough for it to feed back like a real amp. And look, on. <laughs> Sounds great, unbelievable. So, 
again, as long as they fix that pop in the user where you're creating the settings, and again, if you go like this, split second you can get rid of the pop yourself but you don't really want to do that but there there's got to be a way in the algorithm to fix that and i'm sure it's an easy fix because it, again in the factory preset it does not do that so i'm going to end up keeping this again so i hope that they in the hopes that they create that so this will end up probably once they fix that probably be my um main pedal board and i got some all you local guys out there, I got something coming up. I can't really disclose who's in it. But I'm going to see how it goes. I haven't played with the singer yet. But it's the other band I have. And I'm... It's possibly a Scorpions tribute. Um, the singer is very cool. And it's just a matter of how we gel together which we're learning four or five songs for him. Um, and the, we're gonna do a, a thing here and uh, we'll see how it goes. And I think it's gonna go incredible. And let me tell you, this guy sounds better than Klaus in my opinion. He sounds just like him, but when Klaus was young, you could hit all those notes. <laughs> But again, that sounds incredible. I'm not gonna bore you with a whole lot of playing. Um, so I am gonna keep that. Um, so I, I don't know. I think uh, that's about it. I might have to sell something to fund it. <laughs> I'm buying too much. But if anybody wants to try that, they're $4.99. And you can hear it on my previous videos. I did a thing on that. And that sounds good. I ended up, it was around 289. So I'll ship it anywhere in the United States of the continent for 300 bucks. Just contact me, put a message in this video uh, with an email and I'll correspond with you directly. And then we can switch phone numbers. You can sell me the money. And once you sell me, I'll send it right out. It's got all the original packaging and everything that goes with that. I just don't need five or six pedal boards. Again, um, these are the big boys. They're a lot of money, 17, 1800 bucks after tax. They're 1699, so 1700, and then 7% here, that's $70. So it's almost like 120 bucks in tax, so 16. Uh, what did I say, so they're 16, 9, 17, 18. They're somewhere between 1850 and 1900 after tax, depending on where you live. So I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna keep the fractal. Um, the trident, I'm gonna let go. Again, 300 bucks. Um, it's better for me to run it like that. And uh, I have tons of pedals that I'm probably gonna get rid of. I got the new X Time Core. Um, I got some noise gates, I got Dan Electros, I got the Cathedral by Electro Harmonics. So if you guys need any pedals or anything, let me know. I give you guys a really good deal on that. The Trident I'm gonna get rid of. And that's about it. And I'm just gonna stick with the Fender and Hopes and then at the same time use the Fractal. Has unbelievable sound, again.
almost banned volume, so it's probably compressing the shit out of the phone, so you're not gonna get, but that's as loud as the pop is if you go instant. <laughs> little bit in there it's not huge it doesn't go up dramatically with the sound when you roll it off like get a lower volume let's see I'll go back to like room volume it doesn't really get louder or anything it's kind of a low pop and goes with the, the actual volume knob where it's it's not even doing that so it's um that's what i'm saying at a low volume it's not a loud pop and at a loud volume it's not but let me try one more thing just to see because pickups affect a lot so let me see let's try it let's do the prs just to see because it's a different tone but let's see if it pops is it the pickup i didn't think of that but let's see pickup has got the push pull pot on and I rolled the volume off and the the humbucker part for the So there's all kinds of tricks you can do with your guitars depending on your setup but the popping does still come through on that but not the factory presets so just so out of curiosity because i've been using one guitar for that which is the kiesel because it's really dynamic so again i won't bore you with a lot of playing but i've decided to keep it i really like the way this sounds it's one of the best sounding modelers so I don't know. It's a, it's a go for me after doing the presets and stuff for me in the user settings. It was real easy and I was able to use some of the Fender amps to get the sounds that I really liked for the cleans and stuff. By the way, on the clean, the Fender Reverb Deluxe 
has reverb built into that. So, and it will allow you to adjust for a spillover where a regular amp just, you can do either. You can't, it's once you have a reverb on, it's just gonna spill over unless you switch the channel and on a, on the reverb, it's not gonna do that. So what I did is I put, um, it is called a dynamic delay, which is on there and a, a 65 reverb on there with the 65 reverb and I adjusted one and I have the spillover on one cut and the spillover on one to go. So it's two different reverbs creating that reverb sound. That's why I think it sounds so good. And I also, is there a course on there? And uh, no, there's just a compressor. Oh yeah, I did put a chorus on the end of it and it's a JC chorus, the Roland JC chorus. That is in there and a compressor on the front end. That's how I was able to get that sound. Just so you guys, and if you want it, if anyone has this and they want me to go through the settings I did on these, I'm happy to do a video on it. Again, it was a Friedman rhythm, Friedman lead with the uh, Deluxe 65 on the clean, which I copied to the other clean on the first set. And that has EVH um, rhythm and lead as well. So the amp sounds really good and I'm really happy with the way it sounds. I'm just a little upset about they didn't check user presets creating them to see if they pop like they did whatever, whatever they did in the factory presets they need to do in those. And again, the factory presets going, you know, preset to preset, they do not pop and it's not the guitar. So it's something built in there just to be sure. And again, it's not loud enough where it's, uh, could be an issue, you know? So, um, I use my volume rolled off just a hair anyway, when I'm playing rhythm and when I hit the lead, I rolled it up. So you won't probably hear the popping at all when I do it. Um, it's just how I play it. I've always done that. I never leave it fully. Um, I roll it off just a little bit. So anyway, that's the update on that. And again, if anyone wants a new X or some pedals, let me know. Let me know. I'll be happy to ship it anywhere. All right, man. That's about it on the updates for the factory Fender Tone Master Pro and the factory presets and the user presets and the issues it has. So, and again, the factory preset thing, you can build your own presets. I can build a preset and probably under under two minutes and make all the adjustments to run through the amp. It's that easy. Quicker than a head rush, quicker than, uh, it's about the same as a quad quartet, but and um, maybe the fractal. But I like to turn um, mechanism on the, um, the foot pots, you know, the pots that they got in there. It's, so basically, and what it does, I can show you real quick. So let me unhook this, unhook that, unhook that, and turn this off. So basically what it does, so this is it. And let me get close up for you because I wanna explain what it does. So here's the preset. So again, that was a clean, clean duplicated EVH rhythm, EVH lead. I did lead on here, lead on there and rhythm on here. So if you go into say this, right? You can see everything. If you touch this, the amp comes up, but you see these are all your amp settings right here. And you can adjust them on the fly like that, which makes it really, really easy. Um, so um, building presets is a breeze. It's makes it easier so it's a lot more fun for you so um oh, the color looks different when it's like that let's see weird huh i guess i guess i don't know picks up better when it's closer maybe we'll do it like that but anyway it's really good it sounds really amazing and peace out no more boring stuff about the fender tone master um if you guys wanted to buy one um check out like Guitar Center. They offer 20% friends and family. They get a coupon once a month. 
So you can get one for, I think I paid, what was the total after tax? I think fifteen fifty. So I got it for, I don't know, I have thirteen fifty and maybe fourteen fifty when I was done with the tax, something like that. So check them out. If you have a Sam Ash, tell them, hey, they're gonna give it twenty percent family and friends. Maybe they'll match it. Um, go see Chris or Tony at, at Margate Sam Ash if you want something. They know me. So again, peace out, and I hope you enjoyed the video.